Hey guys, we're the Horror Junkies 509. I'm Jeff. And I'm Kyle. And as you can see, we're still a little full from our Thanksgiving meals. So I'm going to do all my talking from right down here. So, you know the normal plan is. By the way, this is the Gory Details Episode 9. If you like to keep up on such things. But I don't know if you do or not. If you know or not, normally we'd spin this thing. You would tell us what we're going to watch. Ugh. But you know what? It's Thanksgiving, and there's absolutely no Thanksgiving horror out there. Unless you want to watch Thanksgiving. But let's be honest. Nobody really wants to watch that. So what I did was, I went on the good old eBay and typed in Thanksgiving Slashers. I came across this. Home Sweet Home. So basically, that's probably what we're going to watch. I'll just leave it here just for a minute, I guess. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Hey. How, how'd it go? Uh, uh, there's Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, it's there if you need it. I already took some. Okay. So, we're going to watch this. Are you cool with that? Yeah, I'm cool with that. I think it's thanks it, is, it says it's a Thanksgiving slasher, so... You guys, like always, we're going to go watch it. We'll come back and talk to you fine people about this movie. Yep. What do you say, Jeff? You ready? I'm ready. Let's hope we can stay awake during this fucking movie. Alright, guys. I guess we'll see you later. Cats, and we're back. Uh, if you guys haven't been following along, we just got done watching 1981's Home Sweet Home. Thanksgiving slasher. Uh, one of a kind, I do believe, because... Let's, let's not talk about things killing. It just, it's just kind of an embarrassment, you guys. Uh, but, uh, it, well, I guess if you guys like it, party on. Whatever. We need to see the third one, I think. Yeah. It might ruin our day, but we're going to give it a shot someday. But you guys, so getting into the plot of this movie, basically, it's almost word for word on the back, which is disgusting, but an insane guy uh, escapes from the insane asylum, kills a guy, and steals a station wagon, is on his way to the Bra Bradley household on Thanksgiving. These guys have been working on their Thanksgiving feast all day, and this guy's here to come in and crash, crash it and ruin it. I guess that's the way to do a Thanksgiving slasher. I mean, literally, the, the tagline on the cover says... The Bradleys won't be leaving home ever. And they say the Bradleys as if this whole place was a family. But I'm pretty sure the Bradley was the, na the first name of the, the dad figure here. Yeah. This, the, there is no way, shape, or form that this was a family. No. It, it, it's yeah. almost like it, uh, the only way I can think of it is the boarding house in Hey Arnold. Yeah. Like a whole bunch of people, pe different people live there, but they're like a family because they're in the same house. It was, it was weird. A lot of it was confusing. If you didn't know what was going on. And as you can't tell, this movie is very bootlegged. I don't. I, th I think the only legit copy I've seen is way too much money, so go bootlegs. Right. Alright, guys, but like I was saying in this movie, I mean, not much going on. It's just your typical slasher. They follow some of the slasher rules, which I like, which we'll get into later. Uh, but basically, that's basically the plot of this movie without g giving too much away. I mean, once... The killer, or killer, that's his name, gets to the house and, you know, starts spilling blood. You basically know the rest of the story. So, in this movie, we got about nine nine body count, so that's pretty decent. It was, you know, we had our gore, so that was actually kind of nice. So, it was finally a little bit of gore, not a lot. But, Jeff, you want to roll on into your, first, your favorite kill? Uh, my favorite kill is there's this kid running around playing guitar, like, the entire movie. His name is Mistake, by the way. His name is Mistake, which is incredibly sad. Which, I want to know what the reasoning is behind that. Yeah, we're it's, not... I'm very curious. We're not entirely sure why he's called the Mistake. I mean, I mean, there's obvious, you know, notions of why he would be a Mistake, but we're not entirely I'd be, sure. I'd be way more classy. If, if I was going to call my kid something like that, I'd call him Broke Condom. Right? Way classier. Way better. Anyways... So he's totally digging on some other guy's chick at this party, some Mexican lady who is also playing guitar all the time and screaming and whatever. In Spanish. In Spanish. I don't think she speaks a, speaks a lick of English I don't think this so. entire movie. And she was really annoying. We were waiting for her to die. But 
so he takes her out, and then he takes this other kid out, and he does it by, I think, by tying, like, a power cord around his neck. Or it was, it, it, that's something really something. difficult about this movie. It's very dark, and you can't exactly see what's going the, on, but you kind of get the gist. The lighting is terrible. You, some of the kills, you don't even know exactly how they died. But, um... I'm assuming he takes a power cord and, like, wraps it around the kid's neck or something and electrocutes him, but the the part that got me that I thought was cool is that he's wearing his guitar and his strings snap, but they're, like, glowing bright orange because they get really hot, and I thought it was kind of cool. But that's pretty much it. I mean, a lot of the kills, like I said, you can't really no. tell what's going on. And nothing's very on. classic. I mean, it's very... It's, it's mess with these kills. Yeah. But with that one, I think it's, like... I think he, like, electrocuted him through his guitar in some way, shape, or form, because, like, I don't know if he plugged it into the guitar somehow, or plugged it into the amp on his back. I don't really know, but he did have the cord wrapped around his neck, so... Yeah. That's up for debate. Who else has seen this movie? Help us out. Right. Uh, anybody? Anybody? Okay. I'll just go into my favorite kill, and maybe someone will ding us, or... Uh-oh! Let us know. Uh, so for my favorite kill, you guys, um, we really don't see any of this at all, but you know what happens, and then at, later on you kind of see the aftermath. I'm going to say it's the mom or something like that. She kind of fi try fights him off and takes off running. And she throws the wine bottle that they go and get at the killer. And it breaks. And the killer picks that up. And we all know that weapon has a certain nickname that I'm not going to say on the channel. But he he's using a broken bottle handle as his weapon. And, like, you know, she basically gets stabbed to death. But later on, you see, like, her in the shower just brutally, like, slain. Like, it looks like he stabbed her, like, in the eye with the bottle. So it looked like it was just, like, out and about and... So, like, really, it wasn't really the kill. It was just this, the fact that I got to see what happened in the aftermath. And it was quite brutal, quite, quite gory. Wish I got to see what happened, but, I mean... I mean, I can use my imagination. I've seen enough in these movies to know exactly what's going on. Yeah. Mm. All right, guys, so uh, a fun topic for this movie is the killer. Jeff, what do you think of this killer? He's... <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I like him. He's interesting. First off, he's, like, yoked. He's, like, huge. Pretty sure he's Lou Ferrigno's brother. Big buff really. guy. Uh, apparently he's a drug addict. One of the first scenes we see him is him injecting, I believe, PCP into... Yeah, that's what the, they made it sound like. ...the under part of his tongue, which I didn't know that you could do that before, and that... Jeff's was, girlfriend knew all about that. Is that weird? And that just wigged me out. Yeah, we're all. not used like, to that. <laughs> like, I couldn't imagine, like, going that legit for drugs. Oh, hell no. But... I mean, other than that, he's a really kind of goofy killer. He was hilarious, like, and that's why I like him. He's like he was a straight running goofball. around, like laughing. He like runs over an old lady, and the whole time he's just like laughing all crazy. <laughs> and so he was, yeah, he was a fun killer. Yeah, and he was just like a total goof. Like, like he didn't have a mask or anything. He was just out there with his muscles and his knife. Yeah, and like kind of an honorable mention about the knife. It's like we had a kill. Honorable mention kill. I just thought of this. I really just want to say it. Like, he's hiding in the bushes watching this guy about to steal his battery from his car. And they're just showing the knife. He's, like, rolling it back and forth to see the get the glare off the light and the camera. They're playing this knife up. We're like, oh, this guy's about to get stabbed. This guy's working under the car, you know, doing, trying to get the battery. But nope. Big, big guy just comes and jumps on the freaking hood, closes it on the homeboy, and he dies that way. Straight. Like. Atomic body slams him. Just. Boom. It's like if they were just about to be like, all right, now entering the ring, Hulk Hogan, and Sting walks out, or something like that. I don't right. know. It was just like, really? It, it just throws you for a loop, but it was hilarious. It was pretty good. But like, without going to say, you guys, I enjoyed the killer. I don't enjoy killers without masks very often, but this guy was such a goofball. It made the whole thing fun, and just, it was really different kind of a slasher. If you haven't seen this, definitely check it out if you can. I mean, it's kind of, it's a pain to get a hold of. I think I was just lucky. But uh, one of my favorite parts, like, it, this wasn't happening throughout the whole movie, but just randomly as it got dark, when he was walking around, he was, like, breathing very heavily, but, like, it wasn't, like, Kane Hodder or Jason breathing heavily, like, the... <sighs> it was, like... Uh, yeah. It was, <laughs> uh, it was, like, really, like, sexual and really weird, so I don't know what the whole... It just made you feel really uncomfortable. Like, me and Jeff kept, kept looking back and forth at each other, and it was, like... Uh, it was like we were getting bashful or something. It was really awkward. I was almost convinced that we had stumbled upon, like, a really old softcore porn. Cause like porn right, horror. Like, right at the beginning of the movie, like, everyone gets there for the Thanksgiving <laughs> thing, and then, like, two people are, like, making out in the car, and... Getting, starting to get busy. Starting to get busy. 
And then the dad and the mom. figure and the mom are in the bedroom, like, getting busy. And I'm like, this is not what you do on Thanksgiving. We you see know? boobs, and then, like, once the little kid comes in and wrecks the parents, you kind of see that dad's shit's about to hang, be hanging out. But it, it yeah, didn't. It didn't. You, you don't see any, you don't see any, uh, Guy parts. penis. No. Thank Christ. But we saw, we saw boobs. <laughs> Did see. One. One boob. Yeah. We got, we got a nipple action, too. Yeah. Moving on. All right, guys, so... Kind of like, that's that's basically the best parts of this movie. I mean, it's it's hilarious. I mean, if you're looking for a good old, like, just ridiculous slasher movie, you guys can't really go wrong. Yeah. But, Jeff, do you want to roll into what you'd rate this movie? That's kind of silly. Um, Thanksgiving. Thank God it's Thanksgiving movie. I'm, I'm going to give this one a 7. Because it's, you know, it's it's a good movie, and it's just got that kind of, like, ridiculous factor to it. it I don't think it's definitely one of those movies that you could watch, like, every day. No. But I feel like it's definitely one of those movies that if you were like drinking with your buddies or you're super tired I would drink I would drink to this movie. And watch it. It would probably be hilarious. It's it's like almost on the same level as like the Batman movie, the one with Adam West. Nineteen like, sixties Batman? Yeah, nineteen sixties Batman because it's just it's so ridiculous. Ballpoint banana. Yeah, ballpoint banana. So I'm gonna give it a seven. I thought it was a good movie. Definitely, I can agree with that. Um, with me, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one point lower. I'm gonna give it a six. Not saying I like this movie any less than Jeff. It's just this is a movie I kind of want to watch again. This is the very first time I've ever seen this movie. The very first time I've ever heard of it. But you got to look out. There's like three horror movies with the same title, so you got to be careful. Make sure it says something about Thanksgiving or starring. Let's see if I can find this chick real quick. Uh, ta -da -da -da. Vanessa Shaw. Make sure you're looking out for her because that's kind of how I made sure I got the right one. And I don't think they have a legit release yet, except they have one that came out probably years ago and it's butt dick expensive. Yes, I use butt dick. Leave me alone. But uh, you guys, I'm going to give it a six. Uh, like I said, I want to rewatch this movie. It was quite enjoyable. But there's always something else I've missed when I watch these movies. But I mean, I like the Thanksgiving aspect. I mean, they never say that it's exactly Thanksgiving. They're just always like preparing this giant meal then you see the turkey and stuff like that but no one says it's thanksgiving it's just ever. got the air of thanksgiving about right it, i mean but I for this slasher i mean it was just the atmosphere of it was great i mean a lot of it happened in daylight but we do get to get to the sundown i mean parts of it seems like they're trying to play off like it's dark but then you just find out that we're wrong yeah you which just is okay. find out that they're just you know being goofs i mean obviously like with a movie like this it's really bad acting and all that stuff so but people, those are the best yeah but so people definitely over embellish everything a lot you know when people go outside and something suspicious ha is happening you he know, just stares off like, into whereverness oh, yeah oh. that's what we got we i had the impression that we were in nighttime and it was just yeah. really badly done but you guys for me like i said i mean i enjoyed the killer he made me laugh he made me smile he made me enjoy this movie the kills not bad. I mean, you gotta you gotta see some after effects. You didn't really get to see everything, yeah. but use your imagination, people. We all know what's going on if you're kind of slasher people just like us. But I mean, like I said, I'm gonna give it a six. But probably next week, if I watch this again, it might be a seven or an eight. I don't think it's gonna go down from there. But you never know. But as far as the the one and only Thanksgiving slasher, you guys, I 100% enjoyed it. I will recommend it to the slasher people. Like you know. The regular people might not enjoy this as much. Yeah. But, I mean, that's just the way it is, you guys. All right, to clear things up, this is episode 10 of the Gory Details, you guys. We finished two hands. <laughs> I was really kind of hoping that we'd do, like, a 10th anniversary, but, you know, Thanksgiving, whatever. This works. Yeah. Like, maybe, maybe we'll do a 15th, 15th episode anniversary and do something wiggity-wiggity cool for you guys. Right. All right, you guys, like I said, that this was the Gory Details episode 10. I mean, you guys, if you guys are checking this out... We got nine other episodes for you to check out. We got a lot of great stuff on here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to. I mean, we got that like button. Definitely tickle that if you want to. Comments if you guys want to see something different. Talk, uh, us talk about different subjects for the shows. Game on. We're, we're here to appease you guys because you guys are watching us. We're just we're just doing something that kills kills time that we like to do. Yeah. We're here because we like fun. it. I mean, cause yeah. we're, not, we're not going away. I mean, so... We we have like 19 subscribers, you guys. So there's people viewing. So that's awesome. If there's only one of you guys, we'd keep doing this. That's awesome. So yeah. thank 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 you guys for watching us, enjoying us, and we enjoy you guys watching. I mean, because we'd probably be doing this either way. Either way. Either We're lonely. No we work watching. graveyard. If if YouTube didn't exist, we'd probably be filming this on like a really shitty VHS camera and then just watching them back ourselves and like 
Okay, like, oh, we're so cool. And if Jews took over the world and we had become YouTube, we would still be doing this. Yeah. But we'd probably get highly, highly um, censored, maybe. I don't know. Probably. And they'd probably make us put money into it. Or save money, I don't know. Or make us wear yarmulkes. All right, we are we are rambling like a <laughs> motherfucker. All right, you guys, so that's it for us. We are the Horror Junkies 509. I'm Jeff. And I'm Kyle, and hopefully, guys, I did I did the Jeff thing. Hopefully, you guys will uh, join us next time for the gory details, and maybe I got something new coming, something else coming up. I'm wanting to do a Franchise Fridays. I almost did it on Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving wasn't Friday. So we'll see. See you guys next time. Yeah, it says boobs in the first second. What? You missed it right up in the corner? Here, check it out one more time. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. And that was definitely the reason I bought it in the first place, but it's totally up to you guys if you check it out. Uh, just don't expect a lot. Peace out, guys.